This video is going to be primarily about this base here. I'm going to be tearing it down to clean it up and refurbish it pretty much. And here's a look at my old base pretty much. The reason why I'm upgrading is because obvious it got the keypad it got so you can be able to use the base directly as a phone. So I um, decided to go and do that instead of buying a whole new set because I do actually like this set. I just want it something where I can be able to dial directly from the base. So here was here it is. As you can see all that shit there it was a lot worse because it was all over this base. I went ahead and cleaned it up because I wanted to test it first and it does work. It's just pretty filthy. It's all inside the keys and stuff. So I might have to tear this down and clean this keypad and everything else. So you'll be able to see the guts of the inside of this. And this here pretty much is all fucked up as you can see. It's all chewed up and everything else. And that's from people slamming the phone in and out of it. So I might go and take the one from this one and put it onto that one and... We should have a good base pretty much. If you ever want to see what's inside one of these landline entry machine systems, well then here you go. And this is actually one of the mid to high end range which has the link to cell which has the Bluetooth radio on it. And the model on this one's Panasonic KX TG7741. And then we'll go and take a closer look at the board here. And probably all the business end of it is going to be on the other side of that board, but I can tell you the Bluetooth radio is probably on the other side. Because you can see some of the antennas there too. When we lift that board, we'll go and take a closer look at it. Here's probably where your voicemails are stored, and then also for the answer machine part of it. And you can see there, there's your speaker. It's a little 8 ohm, 0.2 of a watt speaker for your answer machine and speakerphone part. This piece here we got to change out. You can see there's two screws so it looks like it's be easy to change out. And then here's for your dialer and everything else. I also got to take that completely apart to clean the buttons under there. Nice big microphone right there but I can see that it has a rubber gasket there so it probably ports into the bottom of the other chassis to the other side. But there you go. So I'm going to go and take this all apart and I'll be right back once I get it pretty much in pieces. Here you go, went ahead and tore it down pretty much. And here you can see the business end of the PC right there. You can see the radios right there. There's your main processor that pretty much does everything. And there you go. See the speaker's a little bit dirty. Keypad shockingly is not that dirty, not as dirty as I was expecting it to be. So the oils and stuff didn't work through the rubber yet. So that's a good thing. And you can see there it's pretty clean. So. I'm just going to go and clean it up the rest of the way. Go ahead and change this piece out, which I want to do because it's all chewed up. And put this thing back together and hope that she still works. So I went ahead and finished cleaning up all the pieces pretty much. And pretty much you just use soap and water. That's self-explanatory. Don't use any harsh chemicals, otherwise you'll damage the plastic. As far as cleaning these carbon contacts, I just go ahead and use 91% alcohol pretty much and lightly clean them up. I just do one or two passes on them. I don't do too much because you don't want to take too much of that carbon out. Otherwise, it won't be as sensitive and so forth. I'll actually one day show you how to rebuild these too. They lose all the carbon and stuff. I actually got the paint you use to paint over that and stuff like that. Make them good as new. But in this case here, it doesn't need it. They're in good shape. I'm going to go and put that one in first, the chewed up one right there, and I'll get this all the way back together pretty much. So I went ahead and finished cleaning this base up, and it cleaned up pretty nicely. There wasn't very many scratches, it was just dirty and nasty. But as you can see, now it's nice and new pretty much. And even in here, it's nice and cleaned up. And right now this isn't paired to this base yet, so I have to deregister and register one of these. And if you ever do that, all you have to do is hit menu, you hit pound, one dirty, and then that would deregister. You hit the locator button for five seconds, and then you put the phone on the base, and that pairs it. Now let's go ahead and see is there anything on this answering machine. No message. Nope. Answer off. All right. And then let me go ahead and um, let's just go ahead and do the speakerphone while we're at it. Loud and low it is. We'll turn this at its lowest right now. Solar power. Check out Green Guy's energy 
you can hear our loaded. It's mid volume. Today is Thursday, January 21st. The time is 5.03. Current temperature 35 degrees. That's pretty much how low and loud it is. It's pretty clear. So now if you want to go ahead and actually register one of these, you hit menu, you hit pound one three zero, and it's gonna tell you hold the locator button for five seconds. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you hear a beep, push OK, put on the base, and hope that it does find it. Nope, it didn't do it that time, huh? So do it again. Pound one three zero. Maybe you're supposed to actually hold it. There you go. It registered now. And there you go. So now it's paired to the base. So now well, there's no cell link to it, so it's not gonna work. But we should get dial tone. Yep, and we have dial tone, so that works. So base is pretty much functional so I'm gonna go ahead and mount it right up there like where the other one was at and this will conclude this video pretty much so it's in its final resting spot so now all I have to do is just program it which is gonna take a little while because I gotta clear out everything on this base and stuff like that and put the cell phones back on here and everything else but it does work so that'll be the end of this video